You guys, I got a, a selfie stick here that I'm going to talk about. This video is entirely my opinion based on my experience. So it's not a, I'm not speaking for any brand. Your experience may be entirely different with this item than mine. And again, it's entirely my opinion, my personal review and experience with this product. I went on a, a tropical vacation recently. I love to do snorkeling. I swim in the water, uh, in the ocean, multiple hours a day. Um, I'll swim like 60 minutes at a time. My batteries will die on my GoPro before I'm done swimming. But I carry selfie sticks with me, you know, one, and I mount them on, like this. And when I swim forward, I can shoot out into the ocean, um, capture different fish, different things like that. Uh, or you can flip it around and uh, do uh, the selfie view. You can go vertical with it and kind of do a top view. I wanted something that was a bit more durable than what I had and I wanted I had some existing ones that were plastic and wearing out so I found this metal edition one San Mark pole metal edition 15 to 50 inches waterproof extension stick pole for GoPro with a remote clip so it's a pretty um, long one 15 to 50 inches which is good and you just kind of twist the sides here uh, you can see how how long it is making sure not to break any monitors you can do it pretty quickly in the water grabbing all three so it is uh, metal right here. It has a rubberized grip. It has a what do you call this? It's just a wrist strap. If you're buying a selfie stick for snorkeling or in the water, you, you have to have a wrist strap. I prefer the ones that you can clamp down on your wrist further. I never quite figured this one out. It looks like you can, but some of them usually have a bead and you just close it further. You, you need to do that because your hands are often full in the water you don't want to lose it at all and so I like I kind of like the metal aspect of it it seemed more durable and you know that that, that was interesting to me this is $49 and the thing is this is metal these are plastic there's a bolt I'm not sure you can see this There's a bolt here and a plastic washer inside. And the thing with this one is that it's just this little screw. Well, this is the screw and this is the bolt. And what I quickly realized on receiving this is that this handling this is a pain in the butt. You're likely to, to lose it when you're changing things. It's gonna fall off. And the other problem I had is that so you take all this out of here you still have this you still have this plastic piece you have this wiggle here which I'm not certain why that is if it's somehow screwed in or I don't know it just seemed loose right here I didn't, that didn't I didn't like that and the thing is that when you mount your GoPro in here like this the screw is incredibly hard to lock down. So you put it in. So I got the bolt back in, screwing. Coming away from me. And like right here, like I'm just light fingers, it stops. And I can still have all this twist in motion. But now I have to really like go all the way in. So basically the net of it, it doesn't fit right. It's like it's not machined right yet. I had to get a tool to kind of really clamp down both sides. And it, so that it's hard to do in the field. If you need to take your GoPro off, this is the net of it. And if you're in the field having to fiddle with this stuff, you're likely to lose this bolt. So that, that's problematic to me. I, I didn't like that right away. The little looseness here is troubling. So, it's a nice length. I like the metal. I like the 
fast adjustment. That was fine. I wish these were also metal. It would make it weigh heavy more, of course. But if you're going metal here, let's go metal here to make it more durable because these things are going to wear out. And it's $49, $50 basically, plus tax. I don't want this wearing out quickly. So I snorkeled with this thing twice. The first time it was okay, uneventful, didn't like the setup, it took a while. And that is so hard to do, hurt your fingers. But the thing is I was getting out of the water and swimming along, got my GoPro, I got the stick wrapped around my hand, got the GoPro up here. And this is what I've experienced in other other selfie sticks. This whole piece will pop right off. Look at that. So I was in the water, in the ocean, waves getting sloshed around. Boom. I get out of the well, I get out of the water, I look at my fins, I look at my mask I'm hearing, and I'm holding this. Didn't even know it popped out on me. So my GoPro is at the bottom of the ocean. This sounds dramatic because I was ultimately able to find it. But that this is unacceptable. And this is kind of why I'm doing the video. For 50 bucks, you have these durable metal pieces, but if, if your, it falls right out of the handle, that's not good at all. This thing is being returned. That is entirely defective. I do not trust this with hundreds of, like $500 of a camera equipment attached to it if you have a GoPro 9. Sometimes I'll do like a double mount even here with another smaller camera with an attachment. I've been known to do that before. So I could have $800 to $1,000 of cameras and to get out of the water and see the stick gone is terrifying. Luckily I was in an area that was somewhat, there was a lot of waves, a lot of choppiness, a lot of people, but it was fairly shallow. And I immediately turned around, put, put the handle down, put the uh, fins down, put my mask back on, jumped in, dove down, and found the camera. The good thing was it was metal and it sank down didn't float away. But also the bad thing is, depending on the depth of the water, it may be beyond recovery. <laughs> so, not a good product in my opinion. I will be returning this. So something to think about if you see this. You can have durability, you can have a stick that's designed for scuba and snorkeling, being waterproof, but if the handle comes right off, it's useless and it's a disaster. Cannot lose my cameras over a slippery rubber handle. And for that to happen on the second time of using it, that's terrible. And again, the video is my opinion, it's my experience, and look how easy it comes off. Huh. So, I mean, all you gotta do is swing down hit a coral piece accidentally or a rock and snag it and it'll pop right off and you've lost your camera and you perhaps don't even didn't even realize you did it and good luck finding it so the product was sand mark action gear designed in california i got it on amazon it does have this remote attachment you can put here and put on a remote kind of another thing to lose in my opinion maybe that's okay when you're out of the water if you, you still i mean if you're skiing you hit something hard with your hand or uh, snag something maybe you don't hurt yourself but you snag this on a tree or something else you're just as prone to lose your stuff your camera so I don't know, have you tried this? Do you, have you seen other products that um, are function this way? Um, have you seen a better one? Let me know. 
if you've run into this experience, definitely leave a comment. It is a, a frightening experience to think that your camera gear is at the bottom of the ocean. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. Thanks everyone.